Millions of dollars go into college athletics every year. Now college athletes can get some of that money. Governor Pritzker signs a new law today allowing college athletes to be paid. Today, the governor signed the Illinois Athlete Endorsement Rights Act. It allows Illinois student athletes to be compensated, but not by their schools for their athletics. Instead, the law gives them the right to make their own deals. That means college athletes can hire agents and sign endorsements to make money off of their name and likeness. The law takes effect Thursday. Our Capitol Bureau Chief Mike Militich live in Springfield tonight with more on this historic law. Mike. James, good evening. Sponsors say this new law is about fairness and equity for athletes that have waited well too long to be compensated. The new era starts Thursday. Not only is it necessary, but we've been discussing this for quite a while and it's long, long past due to see our athletes receive the recognition and compensation that they deserve. From the fields to the court and on to Governor J.B. Pritzker's desk, College athletes, new and old, have fought for the right to get compensated for their work. Former Illini football standout and current state representative Cam Buckner says this isn't just a win for the star quarterback or starting point guard. This gives the women's tennis player an opportunity to be compensated for teaching lessons back in her hometown during summer breaks. This creates an apparatus for the women's softball player to lend her image to the local pizzeria for uh, fair market value. Buckner believes this law is the most comprehensive and forward-leaning legislation that addresses the compensation issue. Student athletes stress there's a lot more to them than the sport people see them play or the topics they tackle in the classroom. Eva Rubin is a senior center on the U of I women's basketball team who believes everyone has a hobby or passion they could capitalize on. Rubin happens to be a type 1 diabetic. I've had many opportunities to work with uh, diabetes research foundations, uh, the American Diabetes Association, um, just organizations and causes like that that are important to me. So now with the NIL being passed, I can only imagine the opportunities that I'll be able to, you know, create for myself. Many feel this could be a great recruiting tool to keep young Illinois athletes in the state. This isn't just a win for student athletes, it's a win for the future of our entire state. Now, Representative Cam Buckner explained several states wanted to act quickly on this because the national level didn't have a response to this compensation problem. Meanwhile, the NAACP is trying to make sure they can have this all set and move forward with a plan acted on by Congress. For now, reporting live in Springfield for your 13 Weather Authority, Mike Multich, 13 News.